Quick lists are one of the biggest time-saving features in total. For many appraisers, they can shave 15 to 30 minutes off their report authoring process by taking the time to set up a good database of frequently used comments. On top of that, ongoing usage of these same quick lists will help to improve your consistency from one report to the next, helping you to remain in compliance with important industry guidelines. There are three types of quick lists you should know how to use. The first is called a single field quick list. It's the most common type of quick list you'll use and also the quickest and easiest to set up. With any quick list, you must first fill in the field exactly as you want it stored for later use. Let's fill in a foundation type here. Now once we've got our field exactly as we want it, you can store this quickly in one of two ways. First, if you're a mouse driven user, you can simply move your mouse to the quick list panel and double click the word new next to the number zero in the list. Or if you're a keyboard and hotkey user, press alt zero. We need to give our quick list a friendly name so we can easily identify it later. In many cases, Total will suggest an appropriate name based on the actual contents of the item being saved. However, feel free to change or adjust the name as necessary. We'll stick with the suggested name and click OK. You can see our quick list has now been stored. I'll add a couple more here quickly so you can see it again. Now let me clear these fields and we'll see how to apply a quick list. Using a quick list is easy. They're stored in the original field you first created them in, and you'll see the list change as you move from field to field. So start by clicking into the field you want to use a quick list in, then either double click the quick list from your panel to the left, or use the hotkey Alt plus the number to the left to apply it. That's a single field quick list. Master these and you'll save a ton of time on each report. Let's move on. There's more to quick lists than just these simple entries. Building on what we just learned, it's easy to save a quick list that spans multiple fields as well. This is the second type of quick list you can create and it's referred to as a multi-field quick list. For example, in many communities, most of the properties share a common utility and offsite improvements profile. So knowing that, we can create a multi-field quick list that lets us populate all these items on those two rows at once. The process is essentially identical. You just have to fill in all the fields first, so let's do that. This property has public electric, gas, water, and sewer. The streets are asphalt, owned by the city, and there aren't any alleys. Now that we've got everything completed the way we want to store it, we just highlight all of the fields in this block using our mouse. And then save the quick list as we did before, either using our mouse or the keyboard shortcut of Alt-0. It's important to note that multi-field quick lists such as this are always stored in the first field of the selected fields in the block. So in this case, you'll find the quick list in the public electric checkbox. Use it in the same way as we did before. The third type of quick list you can create is what's called a partial field quick list. Essentially what that means is that you're creating several snippets of text as quick list items in a larger multi-line field. What this allows you to do is daisy chain several quick lists together to create truly custom paragraphs without typing the common things over and over in each report. Here's an example. UAD reporting requirements specify that you report the neighborhood's boundaries in clear north, south, east, and west items. 
So your field may say something like, the subject is bound to the north by x, to the east by x, to the south by x, and to the west by x. Most of that sentence will be the same in every report. Let's use QuickList to help speed this up. I'm going to start by entering the subject is bound to the north by, including the extra space at the end. Now I'll save it as a quick list in the same way as we did before. Next, I'll clear the field using the hotkey Control K and type in space to the east by space. Again, I'm specifically including the spaces because I want them stored as part of the quick lists. I'll repeat the process for the south and west boundaries. So, how do we use these now? In a multi-line field such as this, quick lists don't replace the field's current contents. Instead, they stack on at the end. So, I'll start by using the first quick list with my hotkey of Alt and 1. Then type in the unique part of the boundary, such as Emerald Coast Parkway. Then immediately use the next quick list with hotkey Alt and 2. Note how it just keeps stacking on. All I'm doing in is filling in the unique bits in between. To summarize, we talked about three types of quick lists, single field, multi-field, and partial field. Each of these can save you time and make you more consistent from report to report. Start building up your quick list database today. For more videos, resources, and information about live events, visit training.alamode.com.